Let's click Create. Inventor creates the part document and opens a sketch for me. Once again, there's a reason we've got a sketch created automatically for us. Let's go to Application Options on the Tools tab, Part tab. Under Sketch on New Part Creation, I've got Sketch on XY Plane selected. Let's close this window. Now even though our part document is in an Imperial template, let's switch to the metric environment. Let's go to Document Settings. Go to the Units tab. And here under Units, let's select Millimeters. So now the units for this document will be in millimeters. However, our grid is still in inches, so let's change that too. We do that on the Sketch tab. Under Snap Spacing, I'm going to enter the value 1 millimeter. And for the X direction and Y direction, also 1 millimeter. Now let's change the values on the grid display as well. One snap per minor, and one major every 10 minors. Let's click Apply and click Close. Let's create a line now. Activate the Line command, and place our two points here. Now let's dimension it. As you can see, our units display in millimeters. Let's click OK. And let's finish the sketch. So even though we started with an Imperial template, we're still able to make some modifications within the document that let us work in metric. Let's go to Create New File now. I'll select a sheet metal template in millimeters this time. And let's click Create. Now I'll drop a rectangle here, something like this. Let's apply dimensions, 25 millimeters to this side, OK, and 20 millimeters on this side. Click OK and finish the sketch. We're on the Sheet Metal tab now. For now, let's go to the 3D Model tab. From the Surface panel, let's activate the Boundary Patch tool. I'm going to select my sketch in the graphic area and then click OK. Let's activate the Thicken tool now. Select the direction, select my surface, and the direction to thicken. As you see, we've got a 1 mm default thickness, so one parameter of sheet metal is a universal thickness across the entire part. We're going to play with this a little bit in this video. I'll leave one millimeter here and click OK. Now let's right click and hide this surface. Go back to the Sheet Metal tab. Activate the Flange command. Now let's try to select an edge. As you can see, nothing happens. Let's figure out why. I'm going to cancel out of the Flange tool. On the Setup panel, let's click on Sheet Metal Defaults. 